Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice equation x to the power 5 minus 1 is equal to 0. We need to find all possible values of x. So let's start by using this algebraic identity x to the power n minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 times x to the power n minus 1 plus x to the power n minus 2 plus x to the power n minus 3 and so on up to plus 1. According to this algebraic identity, this x to the power 5 minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 times x to the power 4 plus x to the power 3 plus x to the power 2 plus x to the power 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression x minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression x to the power 4 plus x to the power 3 plus x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 and from here x is equal to 1 this is the first value of x this is the first solution now to find other solutions we solve this equation from this equation we divide both sides of this equation by x squared we divide each term by x squared like this x to the power 4 divide this by x squared plus x cubed divided by x squared plus x squared divided by x squared plus x divided by x squared plus 1 divided by x squared is equal to 0 divided by x squared. Now x to the power 4 divided by x squared is equal to x squared plus and x cubed divided by x squared is equal to x plus x squared divided by x squared 1 plus x divided by x squared 1 over x plus this 1 over x squared is equal to 0 divided by x squared 0. Now we rearrange these terms. We write this 1 over x squared with this x squared and we write this 1 over x with this x. So this equation becomes x squared plus 1 over x squared plus x plus 1 over x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now we suppose that this x plus 1 over x is equal to y. Let x plus 1 over x is equal to y. And from here if we take a square of both sides then x plus 1 over x squared is equal to y squared. Now according to this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. This uh, x plus 1 over x whole squared is equal to x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 2 times x times 1 over x is equal to this y squared y squared. Now this x will be cancelled with this x and at left side left this x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to y squared and we move uh, this plus 2 to the right side. This becomes a negative 2. 
so if we square both sides of this equation then this implies x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to y squared minus 2. Now in this equation in place of this x squared plus 1 over x squared we substitute this value y squared minus 2 and in place of this x plus 1 over x we substitute this y then this equation becomes y squared minus 2 plus y plus 1 is equal to 0. Next y squared we write this plus y first plus y negative 2 plus 1 negative 1 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable. So we solve it by quadratic formula. In this a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1 and c is equal to negative 1. And according to quadratic formula y is equal to minus value of b is 1 plus or minus square root of value of b 1 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c negative 1 divided by 2 times value of a 1. Next y is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared is 1 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 plus 4. So 1 plus 4 5 divided by 2 times 1 2. So from here we get two values of y. y1 is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and y2 is equal to negative 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x plus 1 over x is equal to y. We have supposed that x plus 1 over x is equal to y. To find the value of x in this equation, first we put the value of y1 negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Like this, x plus 1 over x is equal to value of y is negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Now if we multiply this x by this 2 we get 2x. So we multiply both sides of this equation by 2x. We multiply each term by 2x like this 2x times this x plus 2x times this 1 over x 1 over x is equal to 2x times this negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Now this 2x times x 2x squared plus this x will be cancelled with this x and here left 2 is equal to this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and here left negative 1 plus square root of 5 times x. Now we move this term negative 1 plus square root of 5x to the left side. Then this equation becomes 2x squared. This positive minus 1 plus square root of 5 times x becomes negative minus 1 plus square root of 
5 times x then we write this plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0 x 2x squared now due to this minus this minus 1 becomes positive 1 so we write here plus 1 and this plus becomes minus square root of 5 times x plus 2 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation and can be solved by quadratic formula in this equation a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 and c is equal to 2 and according to quadratic formula x is equal to minus value of b is 1 minus square root of 5 plus or minus square root of value of b 1 minus square root of 5 1 minus square root of 5 squared minus 4 times value of a 2 times value of c 2 divided by 2 times value of a 2 next x is equal to this minus will change the signs of these two terms this 1 becomes negative 1 and this negative square root of 5 becomes positive square root of 5 plus or minus square root of according to this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab this 1 minus square root of 5 whole squared is equal to 1 squared plus square root of 5 squared minus 2 times 1 times square root of 5 then this minus 4 times to 8 8 times to 16 so here will come minus 16 divided by 2 times to 4 next x is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 5 plus or minus square root of now this square will be cancelled with this square root and this 1 plus 5 6 6 minus 16 minus 10 minus 2 times 1 times square root of 5 2 times square root of 5 divided by 4 next x is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 5 plus or minus square root of from these two terms we can factor out negative 2 negative 2 times in bracket left 5 plus square root of 5 divided by 4 next x is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 5 plus or minus square root of 2 times 5 plus square root of 5 i due to this minus here we get i divided by 4 so these are the values of x2 and x3 now if we solve for this is second value of y negative 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 we get other two values of x x4 and x5 is equal to negative 1 minus square root of 5 plus or minus square root of 2 times 
5 minus square root of 5 times i divided by 4 and first we find the value of x1 is equal to 1. So, these are the 5 solutions of this equation.